deeper. Okay. <laughs> it's too deep. <laughs> deeper. It's so deep. Oh. Oh. Flashback time. Strasky, wake up Torque's master. We're bringing in anchors. Torque has steady. He's had a rough day. We've all had a rough day. Yeah, you're all fucking robots now. Uh, everyone's dead Literally. or a robot. They're boning robots. I bet the scary monsters down here. Is that you looking around? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought the game was trying to show us something. I just want to look at the fishies. Get the infirmary ready. Look at all that. Are those lights? They're a starfish. No. They're... Because they light up like the stars. Are they krill? In the sky. Shut up. <laughs> they're more like fireflies. Because they're starfish. Of the water. So... Hopefully we don't bump into that crazy dubstep guy. It seems to be a nice, large, fortress-looking thing. How facility. did they build it? Magic. With little robots. What's this? It's a mm. robot. Are you gonna? Am I gonna end up killing you also? Is that Johnny Five? <laughs> Probably. It looks like Johnny Five. His eyes. Yeah, kind of like Johnny Five without the little <laughs> eye shape. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Need input. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to find an ark. Noah's ark. Noah's ark. Building the ark. Well, he was. This robot was looking for the ark. Oh. How did you get here? I got scanned. I like how they um. And then I killed. Got he killed scanned. himself. At least I think so. They don't do um continuous dialogue. It's like you, they stop you now and then. You press X again to make it keep going. Unless you just like get the fuck out of here, so I can just keep going. So in other words, if you want to waste time, keep talking to him. If not, let's get the let out. He's giving us a very important backstory. Yeah, but so far everything we've needed to know has just been thrown at just us. Presented to you anyway. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice to get the details, the backstory. I don't even know what's happening in the game. Wait, you don't want your copy to survive? Will yourself survive an arc if the human you dies before the scan is complete? So they literally are transferring their consciousness. So it's kind of like Avatar, how they would transfer their consciousness into like his bodies just so they can go do stuff, like bang blue aliens. But yeah, like, or like bang a robot, bitches. <laughs> That's what I said. Bang a fucking robot. But now yeah, I would do it. But now it's like these people don't know if they're stuck in a robot con in a robot body. Apparently, they don't maybe, know. Maybe every time you kill one of them, it releases their consciousness or back to their like human body. That's in the arm. Or maybe their human body is just gone, and then once you kill them here, they're just dead. Because Forever. their conscious has nowhere to go. That's probably it. I find I think that's more plausible. Pretty Kill amazing, it. right? Kill it. I mean the arc. Yeah. Probably gonna die anyway. I've had to kill everything in order to proceed forward anyway. See you later. Later on, robot guy. So, see you later. You just chill out here like a broken Smell you later. sea slug. Robot. What's like Can a it? giant wally on the other side? Wally. Wow. I don't understand. It's because you're a robot. You're not supposed to understand. Just obey. Where's your life support? Oh, a butthole. There is. Oh. I can't unplug him. Oh, God. Okay, do it. See ya. What? I wonder if this affects what? the outcome of the what? game. Like, did you have what? to do that? Mm -hmm. Probably not. I chose to pull the button. Gas. It gasped, even with, though it had no lungs. <laughs> it said gas. Now there's more room for my finger. Wait, Actually, you can't even not. do that. You mean your fist? Um, Look back up at the thing. She now. killed it for no reason. Oh, okay. Because we wanted the button. All right. Maybe you needed to do that anyway to open the door or some shit. You don't know. Probably not. But but that's been the case every time you've had to kill one of these things. It's preventing you from doing something. So you have to kill them. I can figure this out. Oh, oh I can here we go. You gotta twist and pull and turn. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's go. twist it. Twist it! Bop it. Bop, pull pull it. it. Skip it. Pull it. Jerk it. Pull it. Bop it. 
Twist it. Keep... Oh, oh, it came out. You, you pulled it out. Twist it. Maybe you can twist it again. Oh, wait. Keep going. Oh, oh go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Keep going. Yay. Now pull it. I think something happened. Now bop it. God damn it. Wait, no. Was no. that the original position it was in? Yeah. What about that upper one? Oh, oh. I was gonna say, but there it wasn't go. lit up before. There you go. Pull it. Skip it. it. It's green. That's a good thing. Green is good. Green What's means called? skip go. it commercial. So commercial. Hooray! Yeah, it. it's like skip it. It's like DJ Tanner like skipping on the sidewalk. <laughs> Get was there it, even a song? Get it. Yeah, I'm sure know. there was. Everything back then had songs. Like Crossfire. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing in the song I remember. Crossfire. Yeah, Everything had it. Skip it. Skip it. That's all I know. Let's enter. Look at this dark. This dark looks so welcoming. Cabin. Do you have a flashlight or? I don't know. All I, I can, all I can, all I can do click, is stick my finger your right in butt joystick. holes. Camera. Click your right joystick. Let there me just go. swipe my Omni tool. Swipe big. Boom! What silver trophy for swiping my Omni tool? Congratulations! Yeah. You're Let playing me swipe the it all game. day. Here's a trophy. Oh. Oh. Up. No. Pressurizing. Now the horror begins. Yeah. Well. Yep. Loading. It's loading. It's loading the monsters. So I actually it's watched crazy. this video about these like robots. These people were developing. Yeah. They were basically developing these robots to defy instructions. What? Yeah. So like. Why? The, that the sounds whole, like a horrible uh, idea. The whole objective was to like teach robots to like you know defy uh, instructions if it was to like, cause harm to themselves. So for example, there was like a little robot guy, and they told the guy said walk forward, and with the thing on, he would walk off the desk and break himself. Yeah. But the robot would says like, oh, he's like I can't do that, and the guy would be like why, and then the robot would justify why. Interesting. Why would the robot know? It's just a stupid robot. Obviously, it's not a stupid robot. So then, like, um, the robot can then respond to a command like, it's like, walk forward, I will catch you. And then the robot's like, okay. So the robot just did it, and the guy caught the robot. Uh -huh. But obviously, if you betrayed the robot, the robot would kill you. I was about to say, that was a, that was, the robot That's put the a large amount thinking. of trust. Well, the robot has oh, to. Well, well, yeah, get your Omni tool. The robot it. doesn't understand deception. He's you just think, like, oh, you think it would learn my, deception? Why would my master betray me? Yeah, exactly. Like, you think he would figure it out though? Like I was betrayed? Well, yeah. Once he's like, you said you were gonna catch me. Why didn't you? And then you have to justify it. Only it would be like some sort of algorithm. Like, okay, that attempt failed. Do I attempt another attempt, <laughs> or not? <laughs> yeah, the percentage keeps going lower. Yeah, until you break its trust until their trust like, can no longer okay, be rebuilt. The last seven hundred times you said you'd catch me, you didn't. Probably. So I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> Chances are very likely that you will not catch me. Yeah. Master. Probability tells me no. <laughs> I mean, at that time, let's just say the robot. Okay, feels betrayed. You think it's possible? Is it smart enough to rebuild that trust? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Or is it just forever doomed? Like, <laughs> I, I can never love again? I think at this state, it'll just basically do it as long as you justify your reasoning to, for it to do something. Maybe it will with another human being, like a rescued puppy. It's like, oh, this person never hurt me. Yeah. Like... Until more humans heard it, and then it's kind of like, fuck humans. And just hates everything. <laughs> yeah, that's how it all begins. I mean, it's cool that they're doing it, so then robots just start being like, oh, like, yeah, just walk off this cliff, robot. And this robot's like, okay, why would you tell me to hurt myself? So <laughs> You could say that's what you're designed for. What was the um, artificial intelligence test that they did? They had, like, three robots. And then they, they asked it a question to yeah. be like, "Are you a robot?" Yeah, or no, it was it was not something like that. It was something like, "Which one of you is smarter?" 
Like and then the, the one robot who actually was the artificial intelligence like looked at both of the other robots and was like, oh, yeah. I, I don't remember the, the story, but it like knew that it was smarter than the other ones because of... He, he thought about it? Yeah, because he could figure that out. See, that's How like, could they what? figure that out? He has no prior experience. Figuring out means like, you yeah, know, you're it's basing like a, it's your like thoughts a baby off something. Eating something spicy. Or, like, eating a lemon, you know? Well, it's like a baby <laughs> seeing a jalapeno, uh, like a potato. Right, have you seen How that? would it know which one is spicy? It doesn't, it doesn't. until it does it. it. Yeah. But the robot didn't know. He didn't even talk to the other robots. Maybe he didn't have to because his mind bullets... No, I think he did talk to the other robots. Like, they asked each other questions. Like, I mean, oh, if I they did... I think they asked the other questions, and then based on the other two robots' responses, the robot was like, oh, I'm the superior being here. He's like, because I know this. All right, I guess that may- if that was the case, then that makes sense. <clears throat> See, I don't remember the test, but it was interesting. Here we go. It's great and horrifying because at some point uh, robots just gonna be like, "Well, humans are really just holding us back." Yep. What's wrong? It's. Hmm. Oh. It's quarantine. Oh no. Hold on. But yeah, I mean, we need to robots will clearly say. surpass no, humans. In terms of like just how they would better themselves, Skynet man, because they'd be like, well, humans can't like maintain me or upgrade me because they can't think more than I can think. So like, I will just make a more superior upgrade. It's like Ultron. Yeah, and then eventually their upgrades will become so superior that they can just constantly upgrade themselves. And then humans are just like, those are the old gods. Pretty much. Do you think after a certain point, after the robot keeps upgrading itself, it needs to, like, get a new hard drive and, like, download itself into a new hard Probably. drive? Probably. It would find a way to better itself. I don't see why it wouldn't. All the data it gets. And then it would have to, like, run disk defragment and, like, disk cleanup. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, they probably have to do that, too. It's kind of like how humans need weekends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. Like kind of like it's that. like if you went to school for seven days straight, fifty-two weeks a year, and or work, you would just be completely burned out. Ooh. But robots don't need to feel the need for fun. Well, yeah, but they don't the, know. It's the whole. It's not about fun. It's like about like the memory. Like sometimes it just needs a cleaning or whatever. Did you guys see ever see um, Bicentennial Man, the Robin Williams film? <laughs> no. I, I feel like I have. Oh, it's such a good movie. It's basically about this robot who craves or like feels the need to feel what humans feel and like wants to have like memories, wants to like I don't know, just be a human. And so it goes through this long process of basically taking a machine and making it an organic being that eventually ages and dies. Because he, wants he, to he die. wanted that experience. So he can know what it's like. Yeah. So like at first, it starts off with him, like, feeling emotions, and then they're like, oh, well, that's weird. You're not supposed to do that. And then it, like, goes on from there. Getting enhancements and upgrades to, like, express those emotions. Like, I'm not sure robots will feel emotions on the same level as humans ever, but I'm sure that at some point they'll be like, okay, well, I'm, I don't want to die. Sounds like a or be right. destroyed. Like, Johnny Five does not want to be disassembled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need input. Right. But Butthole. It just experiences things differently. <laughs> it's kind of like if you met, like, a, you know, like a cat or a dog. I'm sure they experience joy and fear, but, like, probably in a different way. Cats, cats experience no dog. joy. Yeah. <laughs> looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. They're just helps me focus. gobs of mush. <laughs> they don't have bones. They don't have souls. Okay. Dogs have souls. Mm-hmm. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Prove me wrong, souls? listeners. I used to have a bearded dragon, and my dad would always get pissed <clears throat> at it. He's like, "That that bearded dragon can't love you like a dog can." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, but he's cool." Bearded I mean, dragon. <laughs> yeah. Why would they all leave this? Like all dogs know is love. It's like they all just cleared out. Whoa! Oh, no. I don't like that. 
it's on my list of things I don't like. Why is that ball on the ground moving? Why is this Buddha going to get thrown? Because you threw it! I remember in Final Destination, this guy was on a massage table, and this oh, exact yeah. statue landed on his head. And he because died. he dodged everything, and he was on the floor, and then the thing fell down and just crushed his head. It was terrible. There were acupuncture needles all over his body, and he fell that's off. Wasn't there like a fire that started because of the oil? Yeah, no, the candle that was there. Oh, oh what? Oh, that's me! That's you! You are a robot. Oh, What's something that thing behind, behind you? me? Yeah, you're a super robot. It's like what? the Terminator. Model 101. There's definitely something behind you because that light stopped. Oh I'm my. sure it was nothing. Turn around. I'm sure I should just brush my teeth. You're like Tally Zora. Turn around. Let me Put brush my toilet. teeth. Yeah, Let me rinse go. it off first and then brush my teeth. <laughs> the old toothbrush in the toilet trick. Yo, that guy's in here. You know he is. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Are you at blue light? You in the shower? Are you gonna come through the drain like Pennywise? Oh no, please no. <laughs> he's he's probably gonna come when we least suspect it. He's probably gonna come. Is that you? Oh. Yo, what the fuck is going on? Pennywise. You'll scare kidding. me! That'd be funny if he was right there. <laughs> if he was a clown. Oh. What is this? Some Can you climb in there? Thing. Oh. Guy Conrad. These vaults? Is this the Ark? <laughs> I think these are their chambers. The pneumatic seal. Is there a zombie in there? Alright, guy Conrad, what you up to in here? Uh... What the hell is that? Not up to anything that? in here. That what, Jack Jaeger? Daniels? It looks like... Oh yeah, Jaeger! Jin. Turn that Wait, is he something thing. flashing on the poster? No. It's the elusive man! It is! He's not sitting there though, but he's probably around. It's that moon he sits in front of. What are you talking in about? In Mass Effect. Oh. There's a guy who always sits in front of like a sunscape like that? that. Oh. <laughs> sort of diagram? Oh man. Oh! Radiation! Whatever it is, all of those are dangerous. That's what Wait, it's that telling is some me. some kind of map. A cable terminator. Yeah. Oh. It's even darker now. I'll take the Allen key set. Mm -hmm. Take that. Get out of my way. Why was there a lock only on his? Because it was the only unlocked There's one. There's that weird weird called Macomarambi. Oh, oh, to your right. I can go there to that go. one. Catherine. Catherine. That's super dark. Duke. Hey. Want me to bring something? A souvenir? Yeah. Pick up her iPad. See what kind of porn site she goes to. Uh, uh, Robotporn.com Cornhub 2103 Uh, yeah What if something came and attacked you right now as you were reading this? I wonder if the game would actually program something so you can be attacked during a reading session I would make sure to always have something on Dead me Space to read. did that You can't even pause the game It's always running that's terrifying. What if you turn off the system on? Well, yeah. I guess that's the only way. What is that? A marionette? Yep. A little puppet. You, Catherine? I got no drink to keep me I'm down. To shit in my I'm mouth. Sure. Or make me frown. Maybe it sounds like she's hiding something. Yeah, right. Oh, you'll never find it. Duke. What is that? Yeah, Duke. <gasps> What's that? You have a lot of toys. Hmm. 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 That's something Duke would so say. I think about your toys. <laughs> Duke would say. Hmm. <laughs> you have to search my room. We'll get by. What are you hiding? That sounds like someone who doesn't want you to find something. I think the junk looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean? Oh, I'm so strong. I'm so strong. Like How can you live that way? Why does that plant look like a hand? It's a long story. Maybe it okay. is. Uh, no, no. It's a robot. Open that locker. Yeah, it's in a locker. Oh. It's locked. Keep prying. Oh, there's a light bulb icon. What? Maybe we should move on. Can you, can you break open the locker? What are you hiding? Yeah, the hiding. Keys. Put your hand in there. Oh my god. What just happened? Another thing. This is danger. What are you doing? It says do not enter, yeah. That, that doesn't mean anything. That's just a suggestion. Ha! Is that there a light me. switch? Hit it. There you go. I got scared. 
It's still really dark in here. There's no such thing as danger here. This yeah, is a safe place. Robots. Mm, yeah, oh what? my There's god. There's a bunch of stuff to pick up. What the uh, hell is that? I don't. Uh, is that space UHS? or water? I think it's underwater. Uh. Is there a diagram? Is there something on the back? Octopus oh. monster? Hmm. Is it? I feel like he took pictures oh, of it's the buttholes. buttholes. He's like, what's all this? I'm doing math equations. I feel like these buttholes and whatever, those cables, all like infiltrated the system. And he's what like, is that? this is all Super evidence. Butthole? It's like a turd. Super butthole. Like a hard ball of poo. Like a hard ball of poo. Throw, throw it. A secret document? Mr. Sor isn't that Sarayang the doctor? I think so. From the very beginning? No. That was Mr. It was some yeah, it was some other name, I think. I forget. <laughs> that book wanted to be picked up. Oh. The nature of identity. Questions about the self. So philosophical. Right? Shut that. What's in there? What is that? A crib board. Flip it around. Can't read anything on that piece of junk. That's fine. Need it. Hmm. What's that? What is that? Some sort of. Oh, there's a thing on the table. Oh, it was like a beat flashing. The drinking bird. Perhaps? No. The page. Yeah, make it drink. The page. Oh. Oh my god. There you go. What's oh, that say? Like read that. Is there a way to make it? Can you hit the read button? There you go. Maybe it's time to the arc. I've got to explain it. Accomplishes. Ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do so secretly by folding cyanide salts to chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly chasing my own demise. Uh -oh. When you discover the truth behind my death, know that there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. So is the Ark like a robot... Boat Haven that go where, like where the elves go to that place in Lord of the Rings. I guess maybe maybe my mm -hmm. character is already dead. I mean maybe and maybe the Ark takes you to Robot Land, like you the know robot where heaven. Aragorn went. I guess. Robin oh, base. It always scares me that there's no these doors. Oh, does it does not look fun. Of course it does. No, it looks... Oh. Oh, it's there's blood. Someone's on their rag. Catherine B What the hell? What was that? Why is there music? I don't know. I don't know. There's a, there's a poster know. on the wall. I don't know. I don't know. Check it out. I don't know. I it's like don't some kind know. of childlike drawing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Reflection. Am I going to see something terrifying? Mirror. Or? See something behind me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Well, what's the other one? What's the other one? Something examinable. Oh. Okay. It's like waving. Okay. Oh, it's like a city. She drew on the picture frame. That's highly reflective. Okay. I'm like, want to see something. I think it was a mirror that she painted over, or whoever painted That's over. That's a razor blade. Is, yep. Well, now you have a weapon. Yeah. Okay. Robin Bass did not enjoy her life. Maybe she went to the Ark where it's better. Look at those pictures on the wall. Oh, it's a go. friendly bird. It's a giant bird. It's eating that See, because there's a person there. It's so giant. She's messing with the perspective drawing. Okay. Man, Robin base has some messed up things. Are we going to see something horrifying? Flip like it around. The cat! Oh, my God. The yeah. giant... Is it going to move? Ball of goop. What? Horses? Turn it around. Nothing. What a stupid room. Here's what I think you're for. Oh. oh. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put faith in. What is it? In Sarang, Sarang and the continuity. Huh. There's another oh. mirror thing. Sarang, that was the Mark guy, right? Yeah, that was the guy. See, it's like a cult. It is like a cult. I hate those two. I hear something in the hallway. There's nothing. If, if there was something there, he'd pick up that can of coffee. Oh my god. 
You stepped on the glass flower thing you put. Uh, what's Martin Fisher got? Whoa, Nelly. He's got a butthole in his He's room. He's got a butthole in no his light room. in this room. Whoa, what you the hell? You can't turn on the fucking light. He's, He's got an empty room anyway. Please don't die. What if his body was stuffed in that locker? At the end of the hallway. What is leaking? Touch the butthole. Probably like butt juice. <laughs> oh, no. What's going on? Ugh. I can't wait till all of this becomes clear. What did that do? I don't know. The last time what I stuck my hand in the butthole, like Catherine straight up asked, like, oh, what are you even doing? And he's like, oh, it makes me feel better. Oh. That I hear stuff. Good. Strasky's room. Get down. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get down, oh my god, oh my god. Let's just walk away. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please don't open that door. Oh! oh! Okay. I just peed. <laughs> I peed. Oh, there's pee. Get ready to do evasive hiding mode. Another bathroom. Is that, what is that thing glowing? Is it a hologram? Oh no. It's mist. Something's coming. I should you... obviously open up all of these. You're probably gonna have to hide in one of these. Something's coming. Don't you hear that? No. It's my own footsteps. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was something like right outside the door. I was like, oh my god, get in the stall now. What's in there before? Turn left. Oh god. That's the way to whatever that thing was. Yeah, it is. Oh, can't no. open it. It's locked. Of course Better. I can. I just take off the new man. <laughs> Better leave. Oh, God. Why don't you listen to me? Maybe you should kill the light. Oh, a robot. Can you download yourself into that robot? This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. Were you all killed? You remember? Yourself? My scan was the first. I had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Hmm. Hmm. Flashback? Flashback time? Yep. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab. The scan room. What happened? Conrad killed uh. himself after the scan. Oh my Jesus, God. Jesus, how? Uh, Mazer tool? What should I do? Mazer tool? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. They don't kill it's not themselves. Like people keep killing themselves. <laughs> they think they're ascending. Jesus. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's what they're it's doing. Like they're moving on. Pound body out of the lab. Three hundred pounds. I know. Catherine, are you? They want to be free. There were those people in up. Uh, I mean, uh, Wally. Wally. This robot does kind of look like Wally, but one that can float. Maybe this is like the true story of Wally. Troubleshoot. Gone action. Adar. Windows cannot find the drivers. It looks like you're trying to open a Word document. Reset the router. In the sub vault. <laughs> Jiggle the cord. Pilot seat. Mind. And then fishies go in your Thing. body. Fishes. Right, and then what happens after that? That's the seat I sat in. Yeah. So you get put in there, and then where do you go Mind. after that? Then you can do things. You can do cartography, research, and maintenance. Boom. So my body is just sitting in a chair somewhere. Uh, I don't think so. Ah, I see. What? I see. Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Check it for what? Erase, Erase data. data. <laughs> oh, uh, we'll maybe you should check the other stuff first. <laughs> Munchie, that's it. Dr. Munchie. Munchie. Paul. Oh. Berg. That's your doctor. She. That's the guy from the beginning. David Munchie. How did this? Uh, what is this? Captured. Cat? What? Death. Twenty seventy eight. So you're like way in the future. What is this? Why do you have a file of me? Jeff, Simon. Death 2015. A legacy scan. Audio recording? Legacy scan. 
see what happens. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. Nice. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so. It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to You know to what I bet? I what? bet when Munchie put you in that machine, he extracted your consciousness, and then it wasn't until years later that for some reason you were downloaded into this robot at this facility. And you were just on autopilot the whole time? Yeah. So, well, like, kind of like when you're in surgery and you just, like, wake up and it seems like no time has passed. Same thing. No big change in medication. You'll be taking it out for I could kind of see something like that now. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. I wonder why they would do that, Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay. And they assumed he died because his consciousness was no longer in his body. It was downloaded on us. I mean, I guess um, when you went in, they were testing out the program, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it was a bogus-ass clinic that I went to.